Imagine a world where you do not have to choose between Ubuntu, Fedora, Arch, or any other Linux distribution. Imagine a Linux system where you could seamlessly run software from any distro you like. Without dual booting, without containers, without virtual machines. Sounds like a dream, right? Well, that dream is very much real, and it is called Bedrock Linux. In this video, we are going to dive deep into Bedrock Linux exploring what makes it unique, how it works under the hood, its advantages and disadvantages, and why it could be a game changer for Linux enthusiasts and power users. Buckle up, because this is not your typical Linux distribution story. Bedrock Linux is not your everyday Linux distro. It's unlike Ubuntu, Fedora, or Arch, it does not come with its own repositories of software in the traditional sense. In fact, it does not really aim to replace your favorite Linux distribution. Instead, it lets you take pieces of other distributions and merge them into one system. You can, for instance, run Ubuntu software alongside Arch software while using Fedora package management all on the same machine. It is a concept that sounds almost too good to be true, but thanks to clever engineering, it works remarkably well. The project was created by the developer Chris C. Binman, who noticed a common problem in the Linux world. Every distribution has its strengths and weaknesses. Some distros are user-friendly and stable, but lack the latest software. Others have bleeding-edge packages, but are harder to configure. Some are fantastic for development, but not suitable for everyday desktop use. Typically, Linux users would have to choose one distro and compromise on the software or features they wanted. Or they would maintain multiple installations, virtual machines, or containers to run different software. Bedrock Linux eliminates that compromise. It allows you to mix and match the best of all worlds, letting your system adopt the strengths of any other distribution while avoiding their limitations. So how does Bedrock Linux achieve this feat? It's a secret lies in its unique architecture. Bedrock Linux uses a system of strata, which are essentially layers that link in software from other Linux distributions. Think of a stratum as a kind of virtual layer, where a distribution exists fully functional, but integrated into the Bedrock environment. For example, you could have an Ubuntu stratum providing stable software libraries, an Arch stratum giving you access to the Arch user repository, and a Fedora stratum providing RPM packages. The Bedrock system makes it look and feel like all of these are running together natively, even though under the hood they remain distinct. The way Bedrock manages this integration is both clever and elegant. It uses a combination of symlinks and a custom system of runtime linking to make binaries from different distributions coexist. For instance, if you run a program from Arch, it will use libraries from the Arch stratum, but if it needs a library only available in Ubuntu, Bedrock can seamlessly provide it. This means you are not limited by the library versions or package availability of a single distro. It is as if your Linux system suddenly gained a superpower, allowing you to run software that would normally be incompatible. One of the fascinating aspects of Bedrock Linux is that it does not replace your existing distributions. It incorporates them. You do not have to abandon Ubuntu or Fedora or Arch. Instead, you install Bedrock as a base system and then add your favorite distributions as strata. This approach not only preserves the original distribution's integrity, but also provides a safety net. If something goes wrong with a stratum, the rest of your system remains intact. It is a modular approach that makes experimentation far less risky than messing with your primary installation. Now you might be wondering, isn't this complicated to set up? The answer is yes and no. On one hand, Bedrock Linux is more complex than a typical Ubuntu or Linux Mint installation. It requires some command line proficiency understanding of Linux file systems and a willingness to tinker. On the other hand, the Bedrock team has made strides in simplifying the process. There are detailed installation guides, scripts, and active community support. Once set up day-to-day -day use is surprisingly straightforward. You can switch between software from different distributions almost effortlessly. You can even install a package from Arch and run it alongside an Ubuntu desktop application without conflict. In practical terms, what does this mean for users? Let us take some examples. Suppose you are a developer who prefers the stability of Debian for server work, but loves the latest. Desktop applications available on Arch, normally. You would have to dual boot or run virtual machines, switching contexts constantly. With Bedrock Linux, you can have the best of both worlds. Or imagine you need a specific RPM package that only exists in Fedora, but the rest of your system is Ubuntu-based. Bedrock allows you to pull in that package and run it natively without the headache of dependency hell. 
Another important feature is the ability to manage multiple versions of software simultaneously. Because Bedrock isolates distributions in Strata, you could run Python 3.11 from Ubuntu while keeping. Python 3.10 from Fedora for legacy projects. This opens up powerful workflows for developers, system administrators, and enthusiasts who work across different environments. It is like having a Swiss army knife for Linux One tool that adapts to any situation. Of course, no system is perfect and Bedrock Linux comes with trade-offs. Performance can be a concern because of the complexity of managing multiple strata. There is also the learning curve. New users might find the concept of strata and runtime linking confusing at first. Additionally, since Bedrock Linux is less mainstream than distributions like Ubuntu or Fedora community resources tutorials and software documentation are not as abundant, you will need to be comfortable reading official documentation and experimenting on your own. But for many advanced users, these are small prices to pay for the unparalleled flexibility and control that Bedrock provides. Bedrock also raises interesting possibilities for Linux education and experimentation. For people learning Linux, it offers a way to explore different distributions ecosystems without constantly installing and reinstalling them. You can experience Arch Rolling Release Model, Ubuntu Stability Fedora Innovation, and more, all on a single machine. This makes it an excellent platform for understanding the nuances of different package managers' file system layouts and desktop environments. It is a sandbox where curiosity is encouraged and mistakes are low risk. Now, let us talk about installation and setup because this is where the real magic begins. The Bedrock Linux installer is not your average GUI wizard. It is primarily command line based and requires you to partition your disk create file systems and set up the initial Bedrock environment. After the base installation, you add distributions as strata. Each stratum can be sourced from an existing installation on your machine or a fresh installation downloaded from the distro's repositories. Bedrock then integrates these strata into its file system using a combination of symlinks and mount points, giving you a coherent system where all binaries and libraries are visible and accessible. The power of Bedrock Linux comes not just from using multiple distributions, but from the way it abstracts away conflicts. Normally, mixing libraries from different distributions would result in dependency clashes broken binaries, or even a system that fails to boot. Bedrock design ensures that each stratum remains largely self-contained while still interacting with the other strata when necessary. This balancing act between isolation and integration is what sets Bedrock apart from other approaches like containers or virtual machines. It is also worth noting that Bedrock Linux supports both desktop and server use cases. On the desktop, you can mix and match graphical environments, window managers, and software from different distributions. On the server, you can use different distributions packages for specialized tasks without risking system stability. For example, you might run an Ubuntu LTS server with a specific Debian-only tool or use Fedora's latest kernel features on a stable Debian-based system. The possibilities are almost limitless. Community support is another important aspect of Bedrock Linux. Although it is a niche project, its community is dedicated, knowledgeable, and helpful. There are forums, IRC channels, and a detailed wiki maintained by the developer and contributors. This makes it feasible to troubleshoot issues, share stratum configurations, and learn from other users' experiences. Given the complexity of the system, having a strong community is essential, and Bedrock delivers in this area. Now let us address a common misconception. Some people think Bedrock Linux is just a fancy package manager or a container system. It is neither. Unlike containerization, Bedrock does not isolate software from your main system, it integrates it. Unlike traditional package managers, it does not provide its own repositories or versions of software it borrows from other distributions. This unique approach sets it apart and defines its philosophy, flexibility, without compromise. Security is another angle worth exploring. By using multiple distributions, you might worry about inconsistent security updates or vulnerabilities. Bedrock addresses this by allowing each stratum to maintain its native update mechanisms. For example, you can run apt within an Ubuntu stratum and Pac-Man within an Arch stratum, each independently updating their packages. This ensures that security patches are applied according to the original distributions policies while still being accessible across the Bedrock system. Of course, users must remain vigilant and maintain good security practices, but Bedrock provides the tools to manage it effectively. Look into the future Bedrock, 
Linux presents fascinating possibilities. As the Linux ecosystem grows more diverse, the ability to combine distributions could become increasingly valuable. Imagine a world where developers no longer need to worry about compatibility, cross distros, because they can just use Bedrock as a universal platform. Or consider enterprise environments where server workloads could leverage the best features of multiple distributions simultaneously. While Bedrock is currently more popular among enthusiasts and power users, its underlying ideas could influence how Linux systems are designed and deployed in the years to come. So who should consider using Bedrock Linux? It is not for every Linux user. If you are a beginner who just wants a stable desktop or server sticking with Ubuntu, Fedora, or Arch, maybe simpler. But if you are a developer, Sithenin, or Linux hobbyist who loves experimenting in values, flexibility Bedrock Linux could be revolutionary. It allows you to break free from the constraints of a single distribution experiment with different software ecosystems and create a personalized system tailored exactly to your needs. To sum up, Bedrock Linux is truly a super distro in the literal sense. Ow. It is not trying to replace other distributions, it is trying to unify them. It gives you the freedom to mix and match software from any Linux distribution all running together seamlessly. Its architecture of strata and smart linking allows for unparalleled flexibility while maintaining system stability and compatibility. It is an advanced tool for advanced users opening doors to experimentation, learning, and productivity that would otherwise be cumbersome or impossible. If you have ever felt frustrated by the limitations of your favorite, Linux distro, or wished you could combine the strengths of multiple distributions bedrock, Linux is the answer. It challenges traditional notions of what a Linux system can be blending creativity, okay, engineering and practicality into one powerful package. It may not be mainstream yet, but for those who dare to experiment, it is a game changer. Whether you are a developer needing multiple environments, a sysadmin managing diverse software, or an enthusiast wanting to explore the full spectrum of Linux bedrock, Linux offers something that no other distribution can. In conclusion, Bedrock Linux is a testament to what is possible when innovation meets determination in the open source world. It pushes the boundaries of flexibility, breaks down the silos of traditional distributions, and opens. New horizons for Linux users everywhere. It may be complex, it may require patience, but the rewards are immense. The ability to run all Linux distributions at once is not just a technical achievement, it is a philosophical statement about freedom, choice, and the open source spirit. So if you are ready to explore Linux without limits, dive into Bedrock Linux and discover a world where you truly can have it all.